eye-opening. Honestly incredible. Amazing. Life-changing. Awesome. Interesting. I'm very excited because it's an awesome opportunity uh, for my daughter to kind of experience the, the, the medical profession firsthand. For something that she's been wanting to do ever since she was so little. Um, it's going to build that confidence. It's going to assist her with maintaining and, uh, and gaining so much hands-on knowledge. We are extremely excited to be and to participate in this program. We have known about this program for many, many years. And it will be you know, a great uh, path for her to, to, to see if this is what she really wants to do. I have the faith in it that it's going to help her decide at the end of this program what she wants to do. Um, and it's just going to be an additional tool to help her prepare for the next level in life um, in the medical field. So today we had a nurse and she came in and helped us um, use some tools like butterfly needles to do venipuncture. And basically what that is, is when you are drawing blood or you're using needles to get other liquids that are found inside your body. And we kind of practice how to uh, talk to the patient and let them know what, how, basically like what we're doing, what the procedure is to do venipuncture. And we put it in the simulated arms, you know, vein. We got to put the IV in and like have fake blood. Yeah, it was pretty fun. It was a good experience. I personally didn't do so well. And I think in the future it'll help when I'm doing my rounds in medical school so that I can more accurately stick my patients without having to re-stick them and saving them a lot of pain and bruising. Um, I think it could be used as like practice. You know, it's just something that I will eventually have to do in the future. It shouldn't be, you know, a big deal if everyone doesn't get it right, but it's definitely some practice for the future. Today we did the Brain Bowl and throughout the Brain Bowl it really helps me personally with my memory. My most memorable experience probably has to be um, making new friends and just truly understanding more and just learning different things that I didn't learn in school. Everyone joins in different teams of mix, and it's mixed up between Tampa and all, like Clearwater or Carrollwood and you all compete and we answer trivia questions. I learn new techniques that will help me memorize items. We did the Brain Bowl today and we got to focus on anatomy and memory and trivia. Today I learned about how to communicate effectively with your peers and those around you. Today we did a pig heart dissection. We did a heart dissection today on a pig and I learned that the heart is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, it's actually very strong. It's a lot tougher and stronger than you might think. And today I've learned um, kind of just basically the anatomy of the heart and kind of just where everything is. And I learned all about how where the blood comes and how it goes through all the four chambers of the heart and how it exits to the lungs and then it comes back and then it's redistributed to all parts of the body. We're learning all the chambers of the heart, the human heart as well, but just dissecting the pig heart. The basic functions of the heart and the four chambers, the ventricles and the atriums. The most memorable experience for me was the suturing workshop because I've never done anything like that before and it was a lot of fun. Thank you, thank you so much for the opportunity that you have given her. The dedication and the support and the love that Dr. Fredericks has been pouring into this program for the past 15 years. Today I shadowed at Diabetes Education. I didn't know about the HbA1c count. There's Crystal and Simone and Miss Donna for um, just helping us out throughout this process. Um, honestly, before this program, I really didn't want to be medical. But I especially, I know that sounds bad, but I especially want to thank Miss Donna because you actually made me want to be involved in the field and you made me want to do what I was doing. You made me excited about different things. And Mr. Jewelry, the one thing that I loved about you is like your patience with us. And then um, also the fact that like with all the questions that we have for you and how many times we give you a hard time about all of our projects that we have to do, you're still patient and you still come every day and like you show your support to us. Remember Hill kids are crazy kids. In eight hours, in eight hours, your funny stories, your engaging lessons really get us through 
those eight hours, no matter where we're at, at the hospital, at USF, in the classroom. Mathis has been one of the greatest mentors I have ever encountered. Yeah. If anyone in here knows about the Zephyr Hills kids, you would know that we're a charming bunch. <laughs> and and pulling them down takes a while. So for you to be able to do that in a matter of seconds takes talent. <laughs> has given us an optimistic view of the medicinal field. And has given us a different point of view of what we will be progressing into in the later years. I'm Feliz. I'm an aspiring EMT doctor or an outreach doctor. I'm Jillian, and I'm an aspiring endocrinologist. I'm Elisa, and I'm an aspiring forensic pathologist. I'm Christina, and I'm an aspiring ER doctor. I'm Jackie, and I'm an aspiring doctor. My name is Eric Rush, and I'm an aspiring neurosurgeon.